to whoever may be watching this. Today, I am gonna be talking about the importance of spring cleaning your home and clearing out any stagnating energy from our spaces and even from our bodies. Now, uh, I highly believe that it is important to keep that feng shui in our environment at all times if possible. Now, um, before getting into this, I wanna thank everyone that has messaged me about Tribe of Lioness. I really appreciate all of your guys' love and support. And I am actually gonna be having a giveaway here. Um, so be on the lookout for that. If you have been interested in joining, one lucky lady is going to be receiving that. So again, be on the lookout for that here shortly. So I want to first start off with the, um, the meaning of feng shui, which basically in the tr Chinese tradition um, translates to wind and water. So basically the wind being our breath, that life force energy and water, you know, water, we are primarily composed of 60 to 70% water. Um, how the environment flows and how we create flow within our lives and within our own spaces. Now, first off, I wanna start off by, uh, before you get into this, just setting the intention, stating it aloud. Um, as we know, humanity is not a telepathic race at this time. We do actually speak to communicate. So um, I feel it is important to state things out, out loud and just set the intention to clear and clean your space from anything that is not of your highest good. And this will greatly um, impact your reality when doing this for anything really. Now, um, generally the front door is seen literally and metaphorically as a representation of how energy walks into your home and even into your life. Now, um, I feel like a very important practice that we can do, um, not only to set the intention that nothing can enter your home that is not of your highest good or that has your consent to enter into your home, but actually writing down on a piece of paper your intentions and aspirations, what you wanna manifest and bring into your life, and writing this down on a piece of paper and actually placing this on or above your door, um, the inside of your door that is. So every time that you walk in or out of your home, basically you are invoking the energy of these wishes and manifestations so that they actually do manifest into your life. And every time you know, you're walking in and out, you are, you know, subconsciously remembering and reinforcing that. Um, you know, in feng shui, feng shui philosophy, your bedroom also symbolizes and affects you the most. It actually, you know, keeping in mind that we spend a lot of our time in our room when we're sleeping, and it actually can be a physical representation of how we feel about ourselves and how we view ourselves. So keeping in mind as well that having a colorful environment full of vibrant colors also helps in bring in vibrancy and positive energy of these colors into our own lives. Um, as we know, each color represents different things and um, you know we can actually use different colors to subconsciously influence um, not only ourselves but other people and to actually bring those energies into our lives. Now positive beings, um, as you may notice, typically gravitate towards beauty and vibrancy most of the time, okay? Now, so if you do want to attract positivity into your life, consider bringing in more art and bringing in more beauty into your home as I'm scrolling down into my notes. <laughs> um, so I, I, for one, love doing this. I love art. I love painting. Um, I hang up my own artwork. As you can see, I have tapestries. I have um, different little dream catchers. I have a ton of plants. 
um, real and some artificial in my home and um, things like this really help bring life into your home. Now I want to touch back on the plants aspect of this. Um, I probably have a million plants in my homes without even exaggerating. But plants are a great way to bring life and vibrancy into your home again. Um, and they also really help on so many different levels, not only with clearing the air and actually cleaning the air and providing fresh oxygen into your home, but plants, especially the cactus variety, actually act as natural energetic cleansers and protectors for the home and for your space they actually will keep and protect your home from any unwanted negative energies almost like a little um energetic sh uh, shield or sword it's really crazy but <laughs> if you randomly notice one of your plants dying or um you know just completely turning black out of nowhere Usually, more often than not, it's because they actually absorb some form of net negative energy for you. And um, what I recommend doing is just thanking the plant and, you know, disposing that um, off of your property. And, you know, again, thanking the plant for, you know, doing its job in that way. I actually have had an experience of this. It was actually more crazy than that. Um, I'll share it with you really quickly. I was actually in my kitchen and I have a bunch of little cactuses on my shelf in my kitchen and I wasn't even like near that area. I was like away from it. I was the only person home too and one of my cactuses completely flew off of the shelf and like fell down and fell over and it was so random and bizarre. I was just kind of like, okay. And then I noticed the day after that happened, the cactus like completely dried up and died. And I was just like completely mind blown because that cactus literally just shielded me from something. So um, this is really like, I can't stress this enough. So I'm um, moving on. <laughs> Make sure as well that you are physically keeping your space clutter free. Cleaning out that old random closet or that drawer that is full of a bunch of random stuff or even um, your garage that are just piled up with so many different things that you don't even use. Um, by having these dusty, dirty little corners or these little spaces, it actually energetically provides and creates a space for negative or harmful energies or entities to manifest or creates a space for them to reside in. As we know, um, these sort of energies need that sort of energy to basically reside in, in order for them to be in that space. So um, if you have these sort of spaces, I highly recommend clearing them out and getting rid of that. Um, it's going to greatly impact your space and your reality. Now, um, also remember you know that saying that people say cleanliness is close to godliness now i feel like this is really um those sort of sayings that we hear like some of them are so much more true than we actually realize and this is because the energy of being clean again supports high vibrational energy as does the energy of being dirty supports negative energy. So I just implore everyone to keep that in mind when we are doing our cleaning and getting rid of these things that no longer serve us. Um, if you haven't used it within the last year or even longer than that, it's probably a sign that you're not going to use it and you should probably donate it or get rid of it. Um, by holding on to these things, we are energetically weighing ourselves down and we're also keeping ourselves attached to these times in our lives, these people, these places, these experiences that we had, whether it was while we were wearing a certain shirt or whatever the case may be. 
Um, so that is saying to kind of bring up something um, whenever we have like these old items that we are still holding on to and carrying around for whatever reason, maybe some old jewelry from an ex-boyfriend or an ex-girlfriend, or maybe some old clothes that we used to wear or something like that. Um, again, these items can actually trigger flashbacks or memories to surface. Um, usually this will happen at night when you're laying down, trying to get some rest randomly these memories will seem to surface and completely out of nowhere most of the time for me and that is because the old energy that is still attached to these items um, that you are physically holding on to so getting rid of these items that no longer serve us will greatly impact your reality and help clean out and bring in that fresh energy also, I feel it's important just to kind of open up all of the windows after you've done your cleaning and everything. Let some fresh air in. Let Mother Nature come in. Let the sun come in. Let our space be cleared out that way. You know, burn some sage or rosemary or salopanto, whatever you like to do. Burn some incense. Really get that um, space cleared out. I also do like to do a ritual in this way with the elements, with the wind, water, with the fire, with the earth. And I am sure I will be making a video on this um, either for Tribe of Lioness or a public video for you, those of you that are interested. So um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I feel like I always have like random afterthoughts that pop up after I make a video so i'm sorry if i missed it anything and if you are interested in tribe of lioness please feel free to contact me with any questions i would love a chance to work with you here and thank you so much for watching this video and for supporting my journey and just know that you have a friend here thank you bye bye